for whatever it takes. We're calling on Mr. President, who is a dogged Democrat that had passed through what our representative is passing through and more of it, to draw the attention of the IG for the release of our brother. We are united and peace-loving people of the Hoda West local government. And we solemnly declare that our honorable member, good boy, honorable good boy, Sokari, good boy, should be released from the police detention in Abuja. We are equally aware that Mr. President this held that all manners of arrest, all situations that they know that we create more tension in the state should be let go. And we are totally surprised to find out that our man, our eye, was taken in such a dehumanizing manner in what is known as the peace and pride, the unity of the nation, being Abuja, the federal capital territory. We sincerely pray to Mr. President that Abuja, the federal capital territory, the pride of our nation and center of unity shouldn't be turned to a despotic federal capital territory. Why is the so-called unity? The essence of the neck meeting yesterday was to unite PDP members. What is the essence of the unity? If a, film, if, if a member of PDP should orchestrate the arrest of another PDP member, how can we form a formidable opposition in River State? We won't begin to chase ourselves. The authorities concerned should investigate this matter. So those elements that are trying to bring our party to the board should be taken out of, if they're holding a position, they should be cautioned. PDP is preaching unity. They're trying to unite people across the states of the Federation. And yet in River State, they think they have the laws in their hand. We're not going to allow that to happen. Because Honorable Sokare is the member representing Ahoda West in the University House of Assembly. If people are with West, we follow all the right channels to make sure that justice is done. So what happened yesterday was not just an embarrassment to Sukari, it's an embarrassment to all of us. And Mr. President, and Mr. Inspector General of Police, please, we are pleading, we are pleading, help us to have peace in River State. Our governor is trying so much to navigate the government or navigate through this murky situation that has been brought upon him and the River State by just a group of persons. Nigerian constitution allows freedom of association. You are entitled to associate or to belong to any political party or any opinion. When the people decide to support them, there was no problem. If the people have decided out of their own free will, even God gives you free will to now support our present governor, whom God and the people have elected, sworn in, like they were sworn in for eight years. Why harassing people? Why intimidating people? Please don't push the people to the wall. It's not everybody that will understand and can handle things peacefully. We have a lot of energetic youths that may not be able to handle things calmly.